So we're joined to talk about the practical implications of the Republicans' repeal and replace plan for the Affordable Care Act with Heidi Baskfield, Vice President at Children's Hospital Colorado. And I know that you're on the lobbying team that's been talking to our representatives. What is the key concern that you've expressed to Senator Gardner and others? Essentially, that kids are getting swept up unnecessarily in the debate about what happens to the Affordable Care Act. The Affordable Care Act was never meant to address kids, and even though kids account for half of the Medicaid population, they're not at all getting addressed in this debate. They're just unnecessarily getting swept into it. So as we're talking about scaling back benefits and access coverage, we think that people need to be talking about the fact that kids aren't meant to be part of that body of work. Practically speaking, yeah. what happens to a family with a sick kid if the plan as we know it now moves forward? Sure. So it's a range of things. You can have anything from kids being no longer able to qualify for Medicaid. So this leaves families scrambling to figure out what kind of health insurance they need to provide for their children. Usually those are high deductible plans and they're very expensive. Uh, the other thing is for some um, families it may mean scaling back actual benefits and eligibility requirements such that if you hit a cap, for example, um, with Medicaid, then you start to pay out of pocket. And when you think about the kinds of kids being served at Children's Hospital, you're talking about kids receiving chemo infusions that cost anywhere from twenty to hundred thousand dollars per treatment and all of a sudden we're going to expect families to pay for that themselves that doesn't seem like a reasonable outcome of the discussion that's taking place right now how do you have a discussion about a bill that has an unprecedented lack of transparency you have republican senators voting in favor of it hours after they get their first look how do you even have a conversation with senator gardner about that right well i will say we've been very lucky in having an open line of communication. So he's been very receptive to hearing what we've had to say about the fact that kids aren't supposed to be part of this deal and having him ask us then what should we do and moving forward a plan to try to um, prevent much of the harm to children going forward. We're about to see a slew of amendments. Has he committed to you that he's going to bring an amendment to address your concerns? Senator Gardner has said he is absolutely going to be a champion for children and now is the time for him to be able to prove that and make good on that commitment to children for Colorado. So it doesn't sound like a solid commitment. Let me ask you this. Yeah. He's played this game in public over the last couple of months where he pretends like he's not a yes vote when we knew all along he was going to be a yes vote. Was he more transparent with you behind, scene, behind the scenes? He hasn't been saying one way or another exactly uh, when and how he was going to vote. What he has been solid on is his commitment to us and trying to come up with a better solution for kids. So we expect that commit to, commitment to play itself out in the coming days as they have the opportunity to move forward amendments. And, and lastly, what's your sense of how this goes forward? Because sometimes we'll see people look at a problem and say, that's an obvious problem. There's an obvious solution. Just give us a second. And then there's the question of whether some problems will ever, ever get addressed. Do you think this is going to get worked out? It's just a matter of time? The issue about protecting kids? Yes, specifically the concern that you've raised with the center. So that's our hope and that's why we're not going to go away. So we will make sure that there will be a constant voice and presence lent um, to those who need coverage, which is our most vulnerable, which is our kids. Um, it is our hope that as a result of Corey's leadership and quite frankly his seniority in the Senate and his influence that he does everything he has to do to get this done, this go around, and that we aren't looking back six, from, six months from now after a slew of families are calling panicked about how to make sure their kids get the kinds of treatment they need to come up with a fix. So it's absolutely possible to do it now and it should happen now. There should not be a delay. Can you recall the last time the Children's Hospital came on television to publicly lean on a senator? Because I can't remember it. No, this is of that kind of importance. Understood. Heidi Baskfield, Vice President, Children's Hospital Colorado, thank you for your time and your perspective. Thank you.